Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Vanilla Hills and City Skylines, where I finished up a couple things, just running track around a little bit here and there, so that we can actually get started. As I saw that flooding. Don't lie to me. Okay, so I think we might need a key real quick. Can we extend this? We can. Put it to there. Up along the side. And down like that. It seems just like that this side has a tendency to flood. But I think it should be good from there. So... Ooh, that comes really close up to the top right there. <laughs> Anywho, we want to start zoning. So we have a massive, massive need for... If I can organize my camera correctly. For residential. So let's get the electricity jumped over to these residential spots. We did make this big enough to have a two wide right there right there and then let's start zoning this up right there I didn't see that correctly for a second I was like no it goes down here right there's four on top it's not how the end caps work <laughs> Anyways, let's get those down real quick one more over no this section is off why are you off? Okay, that's weird. But let's get this through the middle there. And that one, I guess, is only going to have one. Hmm. M I must have mis measured something over there. But that's fine. Let's throw these in. And then down this length. Then up this length. And then down this way. We'll get the those things in a second. Let's see how this turns out. Because I am confused at the width here. Yeah, it is one smaller. So we won't have a loss of any houses per se. But, we won't have it completely filled in either. Okay, three and three. And one, 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 one. Okay, let's get some houses in here. So, we want this front section to be high density. We'll fill this in in a moment, too. But for now, it's going to remain empty. This with some high density. And then the rest with low density. We did water up the entire area, so I don't have to worry about that in general. So let's get that and get that. We do need services over here, though. Fire department. We already actually have fire department up into here. What about police department? Yes, we do. Medical? Not a ton. But we do have some. Space is already occupied. Hmm. Maybe a medical up here. So the closer we can get it to being centralized, the more area it's going to cover I like that being right there but let's pause it for a second because we need to get electricity up there hmm what we could do is we could try to jump it across this slope too steep I think that might be too big though for any normal thing to jump does that get it that does. Okay, cool. So, from there, we we will be deleting these parks after, after the area is filled in. But, 
we just need something. Oh dear. That's barely going to reach right there. To jump across and around to up here. So there's probably going to be a hole or two. Actually, that was not the hole I was expecting. I was expecting there to be one right there, but okay. So just like that, so that that hospital activates. Now, crematoriums, we definitely do need coverage down here. Wow, that one covers quite the range. In fact, if we did it in the middle... No, because we're going to probably need more in general. You know what? Right there is good. Anything else? We need schools. Book bank. If we do the book bank, it covers so much. <laughs> yeah, it, it almost gets all the way to the middle. Hmm. Yep, we're going to kind of jeezy doodle with that book bank. Oh. Yeah, I told you, right here would be a problem. It said it's it says it's linked, but it isn't. So, let's get one in the middle. There we go. Because we have plenty of electrical supply, so... There we go. It gets around. I don't know why that one doesn't have power, but... So this is on, so people can actually take that up to there. But we do, actually, still need the tram station. Maybe right at the end of this, we would have to move some of the parks. But I think right there would actually be the best because it's a noisy area anyways. So, let's pause it for a second because that will cut the electricity for just a second. Slope too steep? Oh no, we wanted to put it there though. And that's definitely going to be sloped too steep. <laughs> I'm dreaming of... Okay, no, not where I was going with that. <laughs> Maybe up here somewhere? It works right there. It's going to have an awkward hill area, maybe. Actually, not... Well, not that I can see, but it does. Or not that you can see very well, but it does. Okay, let's try to make this look halfway decent. Yes. It just can't collapse the land into that terribly well, and we'll see that in the morning. Actually, I don't like that. Nope, 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 nope. We're not going to have that there. Hmm. So, the slope is just too steep right here. Can we see it? Yes, we can. Hmm. What if... We pulled one of these? So, get it that level. And... Very powerfully... Level it out. Put that right there, and then re kind of make it hilly. Kind of works. Even though this, I would say, could be leveled out a little bit better. Let's do some light work. Oh, the nose. Ugh, my nose has been itching all morning. <laughs> Allergy seasons. Hmm, but that is connected, so, and has power, so we can actually get the front road tram actually going. So stopping right there. Stopping right there might be redundant, but that's okay. 
And then, oh, we can't have stops on bridges. Okay, then. Hmm. That makes sense, kind of. Okay, you know what? We're going to take away that one and put that right there, then. Because remember, we want people to go to this one and not on this one to get over here. So... To there. Oh no, I forgot to make a turnaround over there. Okay. Stop. I know you don't you don't you didn't like that, but you know. We do have this little back side one, but I think we're we are going to need to pull it out this way. It's pretty flat right here, so I'm not gonna worry about too much in terms of the elevation. That right there. Can we have it? We can actually have it go off into the 40. Or in the 45. So, and just like that for a turnaround. Just something real small, real quick. Okay, let's get this back in then. Hmm. Now that I think about it, probably having it up here might actually be better. Because then you don't have people crossing both sides of the street. Then again, we can make a pedestrian overwalk. But that won't... But since we can't shut down the crosswalks... You know what? It'll be fine. We'll put it down there. No, you know what? Never mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> yeah, right there will be good. So right there... I guess we'll put it right there since we're going to have to put this one closer. Then jump across the bridge. And we'll have one more right there before it turns around. And then stopping off at the same place as coming back. And connect. And then we'll have something similar. Just going to have to hope it doesn't. So... Then over there. Then I would say... We'll do it right there. And then right there, turning around at that point. And coming back. And complete line. Okay. Now we need some commercial, which is good, because we have... Commercial zoning, that is not the big one. Right here that we can fill in. So let's get that going. And let's get this on fast. Why is this not on fast? We want this to happen quickly. Ooh, that's right. This zone is a little wonky. It's smaller too. So... Which means that the two fours are going to connect right there. Which is okay by me. To some degree. Put those in like that. Nope. I wanted a one. A one. A three. A... Oh, slope too steep. Oh, that's, that's a pity. A three oh and it converted that into that size. So this makes it weird. <laughs> Two and a one. And I really want to fill that up, but or fill that in, but then we'll have high density in these spots. Except for that one. In fact, all right there as well. Then these two areas will... Well, you know what? No. Let's just make it all high density. Why not? It's riverfront too, so... Oh, there's no water right there. Oops, sorry. Extend that out to you. Let's get some commercial in here. 
I think high density over here would work just fine. And then we'll put some low density over here. Remember, we can always upgrade the commercial if we need more. So putting in low density is not necessarily a bad idea. Especially if you don't know where things are going to be for the time being. But that being said, too, I do want to put the this industry in. Hmm. Now, I don't want it stop any cars stopping on the main street for this. So, kind of say that that's the edge right on that side. That this is the edge on this side. I'm not sure what we're going to have up here, but it's going to be different. We can actually kind of copy that over. Actually, we could have offices in the middle there. <laughs> Aspen Street. That's hilarious because this is going to be actually forestry. And to right there, I think, because the zoning zoning was cut off for a second there, but it moved over one, so we'll move it over one. So we want industry in these. Just when it comes in, it comes in. We'll say offices in this, though. And offices in this one as well. And industry in here. Then we need more residential. Which we can actually jump it over here. Because the, over there has power already. We did not actually fill this out, I don't think. No, we didn't. So we'll have that right there. Maybe a college. How far does the college stretch out? Yeah, we can have a college down here and a college on the north side. So, just right there. We'll deal with the elevation of the stuff in a moment. But we do need more residential. So, let's plan that out. All the way up to this next main street. We can get rid of those side parks here in a moment. Because we're going to be putting this in. That almost seems too long. It's not though. Because we have that little middle section right there. That we were able to place very nicely. I can't see Tweeter. Oh, this side is short. Oh, that's right. We ha This side was going to be short in general. Okay. Well, that kind of... Oops, and that's not the right size of park. Yes. Okay, well, let's get the middle in so that we know. This one had the right size, though. Let's throw these down. We have some indus industrial need. That's weird. Why did we get some industrial need? Maybe because the houses are upgrading, therefore getting more people. So the housing is kind of getting resolved as we let the game run. Just a little differently. So. Or at least that's what I would come to the conclusion of. So we have all of these houses. We have a corner right here that we need to solve and I do believe we had a corner somewhere else no we didn't oh, oh wait nope yep up here I was right and we have another edge of which is too steep for that which kind of sucks but what are you gonna do oh dear it's all off because of that oh dear <laughs> okay well we're gonna or no, that one's off because it's so short. So we'll put that in like that. Have all of this be low density. Actually, we can have low density up to there. And we can upgrade. Again, we can upgrade housing to high density. 
Should we see the need to have more houses that we don't have planned already for? And with that, we can actually get rid of those parks around the edge. So. Yes. 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 We will need the one that jumps the river, though, still. So we got to make sure not to get rid of that one. So this is the one that jumps the river. So we don't want to get rid of that one at all. Because that one's important. <laughs> we get rid of that one, we will have some serious issues. Oh, there's... Why would I not have ran water up that? That's weird. But thank you for notifying me. Ooh, up here needs water as well. Why did I not run water through this? I have not done the things that I needed to. There we go. And some have are actually already abandoned because of this. Hmm. Hopefully they would just jump on the highway, but they probably won't. Why is there something that needs to be repaired over here? Like, I get that we had some earthquakes, but that is very far from our last one, which was over here. So, hmm. I'm thinking that over here might need a train station, but it would be really hard to get one out here. Like, really hard to get one out here. Hmm. Because this is sloping down this way, too. So we can't exactly put the train track underneath very easily, either. It's not that big, though, so... I would hope that it would be okay. Okay, we need some more commercial. So let's start over here. That's not the big one. There we go. And we know that that should line up right there. And there, 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 and there. All right, let's get these roads in. Or not roads, <laughs> parks, these, the one by fours in. Oh, I jumped the street. <laughs> I was meaning to only have the ones where the residential are. We'll have that one ready. We won't build anything over there yet, but we'll have it ready. Right there. Then a three. Then one, one, and one. We'll make... Yeah, technically this would be the high density spot so we'll make that high density and then this one low density try to get that in we are getting a little bit of industrial need I think we'll be okay though how's how is the stops over here how are the stops over here going they seem to be okay at the moment. You know what? That does not need to be up there since it has to rotate around. We can just move it down here. And then, but the pickup would have to be up there because there's not really any other place we can put it. So. Hmm, that's an interesting path to go to just be going around like that. Why are all of you standing around? Is this just not turning green for walk? Oh dear. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Maybe if we upgraded it to... It needs to stay one way, but maybe... Upgraded it to that. There they go. Kind of. Some got stuck again, but that might just be because of that. 
junction. This one does need to be lighted. It is a major intersection, so. I think this power line go skews a little too much for the trolley. I think it would need a middle point, like right there. Okay, good. They are transferring. Okay. So, a little bit of an oddity there. Oh, why is that? Yes, I... I mm. I understand that, okay. And that's just gonna irritate the bejeebus out of me. So let's make some small road of which connects nowhere kind of thing that, that no one would ever use because it would be so stupid to use it. Continue it off to there and down to there, there. That road is so stupid that no one should drive through that. Because why would you go down this way if it's just going to pull you back up either to where you were or to go this way, which it would be much easier to take the main road to do. That is a lot of people walking around this roundabout section. Are you... Oh, there's no... You know what I didn't do? I didn't set up any train line. Or I didn't extend the train line, the tram line. So that is a problem. You. I want to create a stop up here. There we go. Now people should stop walking around because they were walking to the station. They should now be walking to up here once they redirect. But for the time being, there's going to be these. So, hmm, or at least I think, no, they're heading this way, in mass, they're running a marathon, people, to get to this one, okay, what does this serve, this is a bus, and it goes down to here, really, that's quicker than just walking down to one of the stops down here? I guess it is, because the next stop is down here. And that bus line cycles that entire spot up there, yeah. Actually, we need to get rid of that bus line. That bus line has no purpose anymore. So, what bus line are you? Travel. This one. Bus line... 7. Well, you have a crap ton of people at this one. Delete the line. Sorry, people. Now you are you guys are going to be marathon running somewhere else, most likely. Probably to the trolley line here. Yep, there they all are. But that should even out pretty quickly, because we shouldn't be having people running across this any further. Since we have the... Yeah, everybody's coming up here, rather. So. Yeah, everybody's going up there, rather. Okay, good, good, good. Let's try not to move the camera in such a way that we're giving people vertigo. Um... Hmm. Some trams. And another broken building. There. I I hope that the trams right here are working okay. No, not... Well, yeah, that, but this. Hmm. Let's see. Over here is still a mess, but... To be fair, it's not up at 300 anymore, which was kind of the problem. So, oh, well, it gets up to 300, but it's about to be relieved of quite a few people. So, wow, that trolley's already full. Hmm. See, this is one of those circumstances that I could actually use one of the monorails, but they make so much 
noise. I'm trying to hold my cursing here, but it's like, seriously, that is a lot of noise for a monorail. And we have another destroyed building. What the frick is going on? Anywho, we do need to be putting in more commercial and industry, but for the time being, that will be about it for the episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We will be building this out a little bit, because that's not that bad of a slope up there. So, maybe an industrial center kind of thing, but, oh. We did not move that? I thought we moved that. Instead, we just made another one down there. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like as it helps the channel. And do subscribe to catch the next episode as it comes out. If you have any... Another... Building. If you wish to support the channel, there's a link to its Patreon down below. As well as a Twitch and Twitter in which I am live streaming on Twitch... League of Legends, the special game modes that they come out every weekend on Mondays. TerraTech Wednesdays and Crossout Fridays. So if you're interested in any of those, please check out the link in the description below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Goodbye.